for me, now, after 15 years of exploring it, freak means a radically different person on stage entertaining with their radical difference. I cannot but help exploit my physique when I'm performing. I think what's interesting about me is my personality. Of course, this, these are different and they're interesting to look at and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm powerful and awesome and I have these and I'm a freak and I'm an actor and I'm a freak actor playing a freak and it's awesome. I have the face of a pretty lad. I have a handsome face. Can you imagine this mug on a normal body? I could have ruled the world. My name is Matt Fraser and I play Paul the Illustrated Seal. This condition is called phocomelia and it means seal-like limbs. In my case, it was induced by my mother taking the uh, morning sickness pill, thalidomide. Thalidomide is a really powerful and good painkiller. You just shouldn't take it when you're pregnant. Women would take it in vitro around the 30th day of pregnancy to avoid morning sickness. It stopped the nerve buds for the limbs forming, which then in turn stopped the limbs forming. My mother's experience was that doctors and nurses had never had this before. They didn't know what to do. So my mum had me, and then I didn't arrive. I wasn't brought to her. So she's lying there thinking, all right, something's wrong. Two hours, three hours, four hours go by. She's convinced I'm dead. They bring me in tightly swathed. They didn't want the responsibility of her finding out while they were there. I'm afraid your son is horribly deformed. Open, open, open. And she looked at me, and she said she just looked into the eyes of what was an old friend. It was the mother-child bond happen. Bang! Like that. And everything else was insignificant. You know, I'm very lucky. There isn't a day go past when I don't thank my mum for that. I like having my hands here. You guys, your hands are like over there somewhere. And I, I like the closeness of it. It's why I'm this confident chap that I am now, you know. I'm very lucky. Here's to you, mate. Two cameras here, in camera, Margaret. I'm only doing it for the money. I always knew that one day a high-budget drama would come along that would have the balls to actually cast real freaks in it. I think the writers had an idea of a character they wanted. As each episode comes along, it's like you guys know me better. You kind of get my style and you're writing for it, but pushing it. I want to prove that it was the right decision and be part of what I think now, having been here for six weeks, is going to be one of the most awesome things ever to hit television. It's kind of a dream job, really, in that way. The world hated me. And no more than I hated myself. They wanted a monster. I decided to give them one. I've been acting since uh, the mid-90s. I've been researching freak shows since around 2000. I got right into it. And you know, it's a weird thing. The first weekend I worked at Coney Island in the freak show, you know, I thought of myself as an actor doing artistic cultural research. I stood there and yeah, everyone was looking at my arms, but I had 110% of the audience's attention and they had to listen to everything I said. And I was like, wow, this is not what I thought it would be. And in the same way I would say to any actress, be a stripper for a weekend. I'm not saying you're gonna enjoy it, but you will learn so much about the control and power of the body on stage that it cannot but help inform your future acting work. So now, coming back to this American Horror Story freak show, I get to do both of the things I love. I get to be an actor, but portraying the world of the freak show. So it's like a perfect job for me. I couldn't be happier. For me, when you're disabled, the two things people think you can't do are fight and have sex. So I've got a black belt, and I'm really good at shagging. <laughs> hey, come on, girls! Between the two of you, you can win this game in one dunk! The physical pleasures in life are really important to me. I believe we should indulge in them as much as possible, as long as they're not hurting anybody and everyone's consensual. And we should all have as much of a party as we can, because we might get knocked over by a bus tomorrow, and I want to live life. I want to live it to the full. What I hope from this is that somebody gives me another acting job where I just get to play a person. It doesn't really go further than that. I'm human and I'm an actor and I've got an ego. It needs, it needs its start on a door somewhere. I'm in five, darling.